So how do you test these units, these uh, actuator units that uh, do hot cold? Well, this is a brand new one I got. And it turns out I didn't need to buy it because the one I had was already working. Okay, so how do you bench test this? Well, here's the instructions. Um, so again, we're using this unit. Here's the OEM part number. This is for a 2011 Honda CRV, and this is the part number of the control module. Uh, you can read through this, and basically it gives you the pinout on the on the uh, air mix. And uh, here's a quick look at the other modes, but only going to be dealing with the air mix now. So basically what we're doing is I'm taking those connectors and I'm mapping them out here. And the important part is pin one here is right here at this orientation. This is pin one. And I'll give you another look. So the yellow is pin one. And uh, pin two, it happens, is um, it, these, are, these are the control pins, pins one and pin two, and these other pins are power. And then um, what we do is on um, pin, pin three, pin three should be um, between 0.5 volts and 4.5 volts. And we're driving this at on power, we've got pin 5 at 5 volts. I've got a power supply here hooked up to 5 volts, uh, 500 milliamps, and um, we're going to do a bench test of this unit to see if it, if it, if it seems like it's okay. So um, I've got the voltmeter already hooked up to uh, he said uh, pin three um, to read the voltage. And according to him, we should be into uh, max cool right here. This is fi around 500 milliamps that we're reading here. So what we do is we change the polarity on one and two on this yellow on uh, pin one and two. And that allows us to um, shift one way or the other. So I've got right now pin one hooked to red to plus five. And what I'm going to do is touch the blue wire. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and I'm going to touch the blue wire here. And you can see by doing that um, I'm actually going into the hot direction. So that goes hot. And so I'm going to drive that all the way up to 5 volts. Now, you're not supposed to overdrive these things or it could cause an issue uh, by burning out the motor, I'm told but I don't know. So that's going to go went up to 3.6. Let's see. Okay. That's uh, 4.9 4.987. So according to him, well, that's way, that's over max hot, right? I can still turn the motor, but that's supposed to be max hot is 4.5, okay? So now Let's take pin one and shift it over to the black. Now pin one is black and I'm going to use the blue wire to, to I'm going to touch the blue wire to red and then I should see the multimeter going over. Let's try this out. Dropping down, dropping down. I should get to 500 
milliamps in the or 500 millivolts in it. Okay. See, I, I overshot it. I'm a I'm a hundred and uh, ninety-one millivolts. But anyway, you get the idea. Um, this is how to bench test one of these units and what you do for the connectors is I'm just using these um, DuPont style connectors you can kind of see there just these standard DuPont connectors breadboard connectors and if you wanted to I suppose you could um, rig a 5 volt power supply DC and um, for instance, a USB would probably give you five volts. I've been running this at about, it runs at about um, 20 milliamps. Um, I've got a limit here set to 500 milliamps here on the supply. But I don't think you need very much to get this to test it. You just need basically a, a basic five volt supply. So I'm going to just give you a couple other thoughts. Um, you can see this new one right here. Um, when I was reading the voltage on this guy, I, you know, we were ranging between 4.5 and 0.5 volts. Um, this guy was down at, you know, 90 millivolts or something. And so he was way past cold, right? So if you hook this setup up and you get yourself 90 millivolts on the voltmeter, don't worry about it. And just just move it to hot and it should start, you know, eventually it's just going to start moving over right away. So I'm not really sure how to set these things to install them. Like what would be the optimal voltage? Maybe you could comment on that. And um, just the, you know, USB connectors, you can probably just get a USB supply with some alligator clip adapter and probably power it up. That probably would work. Uh, and um, just be sure to make comments and post any sources to schematics for others. And if you have any other actuator um, knowledge, if you could just refer to that in the comments so others can um, look at it. It's kind of frustrating getting the air working and, you know, I, it turns out that for me, I had to replace the control unit. I think, I think that's going to fix my problem. I have another video on that.